Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Katia tutorial number 7. In this tutorial, we will learn about conic profiles like ellipse, parabola, hyperbola and conic. On the left hand side, we have Katia Wi-Fi window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. Let's start by creating a new file. Go to start, mechanical design, part design, give a file name to your file as I am giving it Jimmy. So a new file with file name Jimmy has been created. Select the plane from the part tree as I'm going with XY plane or you can select it from here the YZ plane and now select the sketcher tool. Now you can see we have entered into the sketcher workbench. These are the sketcher tools on the right interface, bottom interface and on the top interface. Now we are going to study about the conic tools. So these are the conic profiles by selecting at the bottom, bottom arrow. We will get different type of conic profiles. This is ellipse, parabola, hyperbola and conic. We can drag this toolbox out by pulling it from the corner with the left arrow key of our mouse. We can get these tools by going to insert as nan profile. After that conic. We have ellipse, parabola by focus, hyperbola by focus and conic. In our last videos we have learned about profiles. We have learned about predefined profile rectangle oriented rectangle the type of rectangles we have learned about different type of circles so now in this video we are going to learn about the different type of conic profiles we have also completed the constraint topic in our course so now let's moving on towards to the conic profiles let's start with ellipse define the center point of the ellipse by giving horizontal or vertical coordinates as I'm defining it randomly now define the major radius of the ellipse by defining major radius in the third block or you can define the major semi axis endpoint by defining the horizontal and vertical coordinates as i am defining it the i am giving the major radius of 150 mm enter now define the minor r radius of the ellipse by giving the minor semi axis endpoints by horizontal or vertical coordinates so now we have our ellipse now moving towards to the parabola define the focus of the parabola focus point by providing the horizontal or vertical coordinates i am providing it randomly now define the apex point of the parabola by defining the horizontal and vertical coordinates i am giving it randomly now define the starting point of the parabola. We can give the starting point by providing its coordinates here in the first and second block. I am providing randomly. Now define the end point of the parabola. So here we have the parabola. Now moving on towards the hyperbola. Define the focus point of the hyperbola by giving horizontal or vertical coordinates. I am giving it randomly. Now define the center point of the hyperbola by providing horizontal and vertical coordinates of the points or can define it randomly by mouse now define the apex point by giving horizontal and vertical coordinates or by providing the eccentricity e here in third block now define the starting point of the hyperbola as in case of parabola we did in case of parabola now define the end point here we are with hyperbola now moving towards the conic select the conic tool define the starting point now define the starting tangent to the conic profile define the end point of the conic profile now define the end tangent of the conic profile now the passing point we can define the passing point by giving the horizontal or vertical coordinates or by directly giving the parameter here as i am giving it 0 0.4 so here we have conic so in this video we learned how to deal with ellipse tool, parabolic tool, hyperbola and conic tool. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching this video.